So personally, I find this problem really frustrating. Uh, I just don't know if there's a faster way to do it. Um, but I'll show you how I got this one, and you can tell me, I guess, whether you agree that it's frustrating. So of course, we have our formula distance equals rate times time. And so the rate equals distance over time. First off, we know that the average speed of the car uh, on two, uh, uh, for the whole trip, and remember, you know, average speed is total distance over total time. So um, total distance is still that total D. Uh, the total time is uh, the two different times for the two legs of the trip. So we'll call it T1 and T2. So total distance divided by total time equaled 60. And um, here's where it starts to get uglier. Um, let's talk about the first half of the trip. Uh, I'll do that here because it doesn't take up that much space. The first half. First half of the trip had an average speed of 90 miles an hour. So the that first half of the trip was um, one half of the distance uh, times the um, or you know or sorry it's one half of that dis the, the distance over the time of the first leg and that equaled 90. So we multiply both sides times 2 or excuse me both yeah both sides by 2 to get rid of the half d over t1 equals 180 so uh, t1 equals d over 180 and that's handy because then we can plug in that into this original equation and solve for t, uh, t2, t sub 2. This is where I don't really <laughs> like this problem. So we have d over d over 180 plus um, t2. So this is total distance divided by total time equals 60. And from there, we multiply both sides of the equation by this denominator, because we've got to get it out of there. So uh, d equals uh, 60 times d over 180 plus t2. And we can distribute the 60. Uh, d equals 60d over 180 plus 60 times t2. Uh, we can simplify this fraction here, so d equals so that equals one third d plus sixty times t sub two, and we can subtract one third d d from both sides. So now we have two thirds d equals uh, sixty times t sub two, and uh, we divide both sides by sixty, right? Because we're trying to isolate uh, t sub 2 on its own, so t2 equals 2 thirds d divided by 60, um, and so 2 thirds d divided by 60 is the same as 2 thirds d times 60 over 1, and so then t2 equals d over 90. From there we can figure out the second half of the trip, and I suppose I should probably kind of wall off some of this stuff so that it doesn't get confusing visually. So the second half then um, is uh, one. So we don't know the we don't actually know what the speed of the car is. So this is we're we're uh, solving for this r is similar to this first half equation one half of d over t two. And of course we know that one half of d over t two um, is one half of d over the d over d over ninety. So one half d over d over ninety um, that equals uh, one half of let's see ninety d over d and the d's cancel out one half of ninety equals forty five I don't know why I wrote forty four forty five answer choice B my new favorite problem in the database. Enter choice B.